Hey, this is Rachel Mazza here, and I wanted to make this video because I want to talk about different ways that you can use pre-sale pages or advertorials. Because we talk a lot about how they can go into a native marketing funnel, or they might go into a cold traffic funnel, um, or they might be used as sponsored content on a content network like CNN.com or, or Wired.com or BuzzFeed. But you can also use them as an integral part of your main funnel. And so this is a good example. And this came from uh, someone on my email list named Alex Cohen. So thank you so much for sharing these with me because now I get to share them with everyone, whether you like it or not. No, just kidding. Um, but yeah, I wanted to break these down and just show you guys a different way to use advertorials as part of the front end of a sales funnel, okay? So these are from Motley Fool and these are pre-sale pages uh, in the Motley Fool's funnel. So the way that Motley Fool works is they get people to sign up for their email list by offering them a free report and then they make all their money on the back end, right? So they get people on the email list with great content and then they make the big bucks on the back end by selling them courses, products, uh, information, etc. Okay, so these are three different advertorial slash pre-sale page examples that are all sending them to that email list. So this first one here, you can see that it is kind of like a content style article, right? The richest degree, this will impact everything. And so it starts off with as an article or a, a editorial piece would. Some of the world's top business minds are going gaga over this. They're creating that curiosity. And then they've got examples. Elon Musk, for example, says it blows me away. Jeff Bezos believes this is the key to Amazon's future success. Okay, so they're adding in proof right at the top. And other Wall Street insiders are calling it bigger than the internet. So they're building that hype, building that curiosity, building that excitement. And so this is a very traditional um, type of message that you would see for most information publishers like Agora, right? So it's this letter to the investor, to the reader. And they, they have the lead here. They talk about, uh, they set the stage and then they move through it and they provide great content and they make connections so they, with, the, with the reader, a personal connection. So they say, if you're anything like me, you want another chance at fortune making gains like these, right? So they're teasing it, they're teasing it, but they're not saying, buy this thing, buy this thing. So they're going all the way down, they're providing great content, they're talking about deep learning and artificial intelligence, they're introducing that con concept and connecting it back to their offer slowly. And they use this here you go. Here's the segue. So if you want to use this to drive leads, you give them all this information, you tease it and they say, okay, here's what you do next. This is the same way you would use the ordering details on a sales page, right? Presenting those ordering details. And so here's the tease. I only touched on a few highlights here, but I've prepared an extensive video report for you that explains all about this exciting new technology. It's free. Just click here to get it. So you can click here. That's that first link or they also have a second one and the third one, just like we do in well, many advertorials, right? So they're driving traffic to that email list for free, or uh, it's not a paid offer, it's the front end free offer, and then they're gonna sell them things, things on the back end, okay? So here's one example, here's another one. Motley Fool issues rare double down buy report, right? So again, we're driving curiosity, we're saying, hey, this is a rare thing, creating a little bit of scarcity there. Um, you can use photos and videos and advertorials as well to create uh, uh, curiosity or back up what you're saying as proof. So this is the Motley Fool CEO presenting this uh, rare double down buy report seemingly. All right, so it's interesting, it's casual, it's conversational and they're building that curiosity, they're building that interest and then they're providing lots of good information, right? This is 90%, well this one's a little bit more direct, so maybe like 70% editorial content and then they only push them to sign up for the email list at the very end, all right? And they're still not selling anything here, they're just moving them to the next step. So while this is a little bit more of a direct message, right? They're actually telling them, hey, sign up and do something here, that's a little bit more direct than some advertorials. They're not selling them anything, they're just moving them to the next step of the funnel, which is always what an advertorial is doing. So whether or not you're moving them to the next step of just becoming aware of your company, or you're moving to the next step where you're going to send them more marketing materials, or you're moving them to by sending them to the sales page. The, the purpose of an advertorial is just to move people to the next, to the next, to that, right, that right mindset so that they're ready for that 
when they get there and they don't feel don't feel those salesmen. So that's what these are doing here. And again, down here you again down here you just click here link says get this re free report when you sign up today. S simply. Simply I'm saying it's, it's gentle, right? Just moving them along the funnel. So this third one here, third one here, how to, stop it. This one's obviously about marijuana. How to drink. How to drinks at the top is timely. This is newsworthy. This is all happening right so. happening right so this is really really good um topic for right now for right now attention to share the interested and want to learn more okay so you can go through you can go through them they're worthy and they're providing really good information and are packed with proof okay backed up data statistics proof quotes okay and they all all so here's some good examples for you um if you liked breakdowns like this then let me know and and for you so that we can do more of these in your niche all right